The 12 Days of Christmas is a song that we all know, but few know the story behind it. Our photojournalist Joy Bat takes a look at the past and present of the Christmas song. Part of the, the 12 days of Christmas is that, uh, well, originally it was that you did all sorts of celebration from Christmas Day through January 6th. You would have plays put on, and that's where you get things like uh, ladies dancing and uh, lords a leaping. They did a lot of activities that did, did a lot of pranks and plays and, and uh, games, just as we might today, but most of ours is before Christmas, and theirs was um, immediately after Christmas. And they would make for the 12 days of Christmas a stronger brew. Remember, singing, of course, is the entertainment that everybody did, and that's where some of these songs of cumulative ones, why it becomes so difficult, because for us, if you think about the, the, the song, the 12 days of Christmas, it's not too terribly difficult to remember the verses, but if you've had a lot of beer to drink, it would be. If you missed being able to either add to it or say the same thing that was already said, uh, then you had to give something, uh, a gift that could be just a kiss. The Middle Ages it was very, very hard to live, and so this would be a 12-day time of feasting the best that you could. Um, so this Christmas season was seen as being a time of trying to somehow remember in an experiential way the truths of the kingdom. What we do is we take a line from scripture where John the Baptist says, I must decrease and Christ must increase. And so we see that in the play of light. Um, we're at the winter um, solstice, right? And so from now on, after we get through Christmas, the hours of daylight are gonna become more than darkness. And so symbolically, as we head to that time of greatest brightness, that is Christ coming to the world. So what we're doing is we're trying to celebrate in a heightened way at Christmas what we should be celebrating every day. That wonderful story comes to us from our photojournalist Joy Bat. Well, still to come.